picture this. Walk with me. The newest trailer of a YA coming of age movie comes out, but get this, it's starring a black girl as a lead. That sounds almost unimaginable, right? We'll come back to that. For now, let's play a game. I'm going to list some of the most popular coming of age movies, and you're going to tell me what they all have in common. Ready? Let's start. Mean Girls, Lady Bird, Breakfast Club, Clueless, 10 Things I Hate About You, The Fault in Our Stars, Perks of Being a Wildflower, Book Smart. Are we seeing it? Are we seeing the theme? All these movies are starring white leads with mostly white casts. And this is just a simple observation. I have nothing against these movies. In fact, I enjoy most of them, but they don't really relate to me. Like, sure, I was a girl who attended high school in America in the suburbs, but as a black woman, that's where most of my similarities end. And I'm sure it's the same for other people of color. I highly recommend watching Amanda Mariana's video, Why Can't Black Women Be the Love Interest? Hadija also has a whole bunch of videos on colorism in Hollywood, and those videos really inspired me to make this video. And it's just something that I wanted to make for a while. So, because I'm procrastinating on writing an essay, I present to you the perfect coming of age movie, according to me, a black girl. So, she's gonna be a dark skinned black girl. She's gonna be a new actress, right? No Yara, no Zendaya, no Amanda. And I list those women because there's a young black lead that's often needed. Those three are typically the ones that are commonly casted. And this is nothing against them personally, and I also know that both Zendaya and Amanda have spoken out about trying to step back from taking roles where they think that there could be room for growth in diversity in actors. Weird that Hollywood, I mean, I wish you guys could be in, this, in these meetings, but Hollywood, I am, you know, Hollywood's, I guess you could say, acceptable version of a black girl and that has to change. Amanda had this to say in a 2018 interview with Variety. Me, Yara, and Zendaya are perceived in the same way because we are lighter skinned brown girls. We fill this interesting space of being accessible to Hollywood and accessible to white people in a way that darker skinned girls are not. While it's great that they acknowledge it, a lot of change still needs to be made. This is nothing against their talent. I love all three of these women, but I'm ready for someone fresh, someone we haven't seen before. And seeing someone new who we haven't seen before shouldn't be hard because Hollywood despises casting young, dark-skinned black women. Also, her lead, she won't be living in poverty either, and she's just gonna be a regular girly next door. Love that. Anything but overcoming racism and black hardship. Like, literally anything. Don't get me wrong, I think that there's a time and place for those stories, and I think that they're incredibly important. I made a whole video on my favorite black TV shows and black movies, podcast books, etc., which I can link. And I love that video. That's one of the videos I'm most proud of. However, not every single piece of media surrounding black people has to be about black hardships. And so obviously the erasure of what black people go through it's not realistic a black person to live in a perfect utopia where nothing bad happens to them, you know? But I'm saying maybe there's like a scene where someone says a microaggression at most, and then the main character addresses it. I just want it to be about a gal and her group of friends just living their lives like any other white coming of age main characters would do. And who knows, maybe she'll run for prom queen, or maybe she'll pull a share and she'll get with her stepbrother. I think I'm beautiful. Uh, yeah. Also, I request there has to be one of those dress up scenes, like one of those makeover scenes, but it doesn't even have to be makeover, just like when the person tries on a whole bunch of clothes, those, those like montage scenes, cause like every great coming of age movie has one. I feel like a major component of every classic coming of age movie is the sidekick slash friend group dynamic. It's so important. It's what really drives the movie, you know? Given that the sidekick who gets three lines is usually like a token minority, I feel like it only makes sense for this to have like a token white friend. But I want the group as a whole to be pretty diverse, whether that be like sexuality wise, race wise. I just want it to be different. I want them to have like different aesthetics and like different fashion. That'd be so cute. Y'all know how the popular mean girl is usually like the rich 
blonde girl. She's like evil. She's malicious. Y'all know who I'm talking about. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. I am choosing to ignore this verdict. What? You can't ignore the verdict? What verdict? See, this is me ignoring the verdict. What if instead of that, right? What if she's this really cool Asian girl? It's because I feel like it'd be cool to see an Asian woman portray this kind of role because in the media, typically Asian women tend to be seen as meek and they typically play roles of women who are typically submissive or shy. And I think that this would shake things up. It has to be enemies to lovers. If it's not enemies to lovers, I don't want it. I know people get really tired of enemies to lovers. If the love interest has to be a white man, I'm thinking a young Chris Evans, excuse me, sorry, Jamal, a young Jamal type, you know? Only thing I ask, don't make him racist, of course. Also, on the other hand, don't make him too woke. If I hear any AAVE coming out of the person's mouth, I will be leaving, none of that. The black lead doesn't die and neither do her parents, right? Like that would be such a twist, guys. Like imagine the black lead, imagine like her not suffering, right? Like I don't want her to suffer. Actually happy at the end of the movie. Can you, do you guys see it? Cause I can see it. This is a hit guys, this is a hit. I want budget budget i want money i'm thinking like a to all the boys i love before vibe you know the first movie like i saw that set and i was like money was put into this production that is what i want this needs to be produced by a major company i'm saying like warner brothers or paramount or a24 because they make great movies as well we want a production a show give me a show a woman a woman preferably a woman of color do not let a man touch this project. He will ruin it. Everyone knows the soundtrack can either make or break the movie. The soundtrack has to be perfection, right? I want it to feel cinematic, of course, because it's a movie, but also iconic. Like, you know, when you hear Perfect Day, you think of... I want a moment like that, something attached to this. I also require at least one Taylor Swift song. In all seriousness, I don't know why Hollywood isn't producing coming of age movies like this. Actually, I do, and it's clearly racism and colorism. My point is, I don't know if Hollywood just thinks that there isn't a like market for it because there clearly is one thing about black people and that I love about is that they will band together like if you put a black girl as a lead of a major movie people are going to show up and watch it no matter what it's about like me whenever I see there's a black lead in something that looks remotely interesting to me I am there I am on it I am in it and I know that there are screenwriters and there are people who are actually writing these stories and they need to get told. Like I'm tired of seeing the sequels and the remakes, like hang up the remakes for a little bit. Let's hold off on the remakes. Let's pump the brakes on those. Let's put out some original stories. There's just talented people out there, especially talented people of color who are writing amazing stories and they deserve to have them told on the big screen just as much as white counterparts do. So Hollywood, if you're seeing this, run me my check and make this happen. I'd love to hear your coming of age movie ideas that you would have. Thanks guys, and I will see you later. Bye.